Um, steering actually feels a little bit tighter, suspension too, but the suspension is very comfortable. So that's the cool thing about this suspension system here. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, I'm reviewing a 2023 Genesis GV80 Prestige. First and foremost, though, a huge shout out and thank you to the Genesis of Linden, Utah, for giving me some time with this GV80. I'm going to include a link to their inventory in the description down below. If you're looking for a new Genesis or a pre owned one as well, they'll hook you up. Check them out. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below as well. Let's get into the review. So under the hood, we have a turbocharged 3.5 liter V6. It goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 18 around town and then 23 on the highway with power outputs being 375 horsepower and then 391 pound feet of torque. And I love how this is displayed. It looks like a spaceship under the hood kind of. Now going over the front end, we first have to talk about the color on this one. This one is finished in Cardiff green, which is one of the coolest colors I've ever seen on a car. It's kind of like a bluish green, as you guys can see. Now in lower lighting, you can see here on the side, it just looks like a darker color. And then once the sunlight hits it, the green really pops and it's just perfect for this car. We've got the Genesis logo here in the center. And then you guys can see here with the daytime running lights and the headlights, definitely like a signature look for the Genesis brand now. We've got the parking sensors here on the front end. And then notice here with the venting there on the side, and then also here at the bottom with a little sensor. And then you can see here with the front grill, it is massive, imposing, and definitely screams luxury. You have a camera there in the center of the grill. And overall, I love the front end styling. So coming on the side here, we've got 265 millimeter tires wrapped around 22 inch wheels in the front and over in the rear. Definitely love the five spoke design and you can see little details there at the center portion of the wheel. And then here's a quick look at the suspension. It is electronically controlled suspension. We'll kind of talk about that a little bit more later. And then notice here how the fender flare has been body painted. And I love this for the turn signal indicator. It's pretty cool how that will light up. And actually I've got the key fob here in my pocket. So I'm gonna show you guys. Look how cool that is. Anyways, body painted mirrors. Notice the chrome trim here around the windows and then also here at the top of the roof and down below as well. And if we take a few steps back, you can also see more chrome trim here at the top of the door handles. It all comes together and it all flows. Like just look at all the body lines and everything. Again, beautiful from the side too. So here's our key fob for the GV80. We have our lock function, unlock, remote start. We have the self park function and then the opening for the hatch. Now with the self park function, it's pretty cool. Obviously it lets you basically drive the car forward and backwards at a very slow rate, um, but to get it in and out of like a tight parking space, it does have safety mechanisms in place. So you can't just like run it into someone else's car or um, you know, obviously if something pops in front of the car, you're not just gonna run it over. It'll apply the brakes. So it's a really cool system overall. Now. Going from that to the hatch, obviously automated, right? And popping here to the rear, you guys will understand why the uh, floor mats are this color momentarily, but definitely love the coloration on that. And then notice here with these seats, how you can raise and lower them with the button right there. And then we have a 12 volt right next to it. And then notice we have this little storage net here on the side. And then we've got gigantic floor mat for the covering here and more uh, carpeting as well. But look at this nice little handle, it's under everything. And you can see you've got the cargo cover underneath here and a little bit of extra storage space as well. And look, a couple speakers here in the back. And then look at the plaques here. Again, just really nice from a design standpoint. And that's all for the rear. So when you're done, you can lock it if you want, or you can just press that button to lower it down. Wait for it, wait for it. There you go. Now let's finish things up here with the rear of the GV80. So first off, you guys can see here with the distinctive taillights, again, love the design and they're very similar to the headlights from a design perspective, which just kind of gives this a uniform appearance, which I really like. Now notice we got the GV80 badge, Genesis, and then we got our four wheel drive and then we have the 3.5T. So you can flex on everyone that you got the bad boy engine. And you can see here with the coverings over the exhaust tips at the bottom on either side. And then we do have parking sensors here in the rear. And again, just look at the design here. And then also with the three quarters angle, it's great. Now here is the door panel in the rear of the GV80. Just look at the material use here in the back. It is just absolutely top notch, fantastic. 
every single touch point just looks and feels very high quality and then look at all of the speakers here for the sound system we have a sunshade here for the rear passengers as well and look at the seats so first off coloration very nice in terms of the contrast between the seats and the exterior paint color notice the quilted design here in the center portion along with the piping as well and it's actually really easy to get in you just pretty much slide right across here's legroom there's my messy head and uh, <laughs> headroom as well. Notice here with the storage space. And we have our own climate zone for the rear, heated and cooled seats for the rear passengers. We've got a full outlet, we've got USBs, and look at this, you can do full recline with the front seat if you want. But if this passenger is getting annoyed with what the front seat's doing, look at this, they can just be like, you know what, I'm gonna move your seat for you, buddy. <laughs> it's a pretty funny feature. And then we've got our cup holder armrest situation right here. Press this little button. And it kind of like, look how that pops open. It's like, voila, <laughs> to show some more uh, storage space here. And then again, look, all the material use. Again, it's just really high quality so that all the touch points feel nice. But let's head to the front. Now here's the front door panel. Again, look at the material use here. And then just the overall design of the door panel and the contrast with the different colors throughout. We do have memory seats. Again, more speakers here for the sound system. We've got the window controls right here with the mirror adjustments. And then here's a quick look at the mirrors. They do have blind spot monitoring. We have our Genesis plaque down below. And for those of you that are wondering from a practicality standpoint, we have both of our stickers here. Payload capacity, 903 pounds. And then here is the front seat. Again, look at the piping and then look at like that quilted perforated design all throughout the center. And we have our power adjustments here. And yes, we do have massaging seats as well. We've got the pedal layout down below. And then you can see here with the auto stop start and then with the stability control and then notice on the dash from material standpoint, the steering wheel is power adjustable too. Let's pop in. So here's the steering wheel for the GV80. Notice the two-tone design first and foremost. And then you guys can see here with the stitching and <laughs> notice how it's like, again, two-tone even right there. Like it just mixed together. I don't know, it looks really cool if you ask me. And then the nice metallic trim all around. And again, look at the faces on all of your controls for like your cruise control, for example, voice command volume controls. It's not cheap plastic like what you see in a lot of other vehicles. Again, it just feels upscale. Same thing with the paddle shifters as well. In a lot of European rivals, you'll just see cheap plastic for the paddle shifters. So again, they're just going with higher end materials with everything. We've got a turn signal light stock, windshield wiper stock. Again, even look at the ends of the stocks. Feels nice, looks nice. And there's the steering wheel. Now here's the center gauge cluster. You can see you've got the speed over on the left side. You've got the RPMs on the right side. And yes, the RPMs do in fact go backwards as you can see with me revving it up a little bit. Now, if I press the pages button that you guys saw earlier on the steering wheel, it kind of scrolls through a couple of different menus. Now the camera view probably looks a little bit weird on the screen. This is like a 3D uh, digital gauge cluster. And so it's hard for the camera to pick it up. It just kind of looks blurry on the camera, but it's 3D. If you have a chance to see one in person, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Now, aside from that, we do have some different drive modes that we can go between. So first off, we've got our sport and notice it gets red and aggressive. We have our custom and then we have our comfort, right? Eco and then snow. And I love how it just does like a little loop as you change through the different drive modes. So here is the infotainment system. First off, we're gonna pop it into reverse. You guys can see we've got a backup camera with trajectory lines. They do turn with the steering wheel. We have our bird's eye view. But my favorite part about the camera system is this like 3D rendered model of the GV80 where you can kind of spin around it and see exactly where you're at. Really cool, really practical, obviously, from a parking perspective. And there's other camera viewpoints as well while you have it in reverse. So full 360 camera system, super solid overall. As for the rest of the infotainment system, it's a touchscreen. Response time is fantastic on the touchscreen and we got our massaging seat function so we're gonna we're gonna get our uh, whole body stretching actually right there so we're getting a massage while we finish the rest of this review which is another nice thing to have now this also does come with passenger talk so especially if you get like a third row gv80 that'll definitely help out with uh, communicating with the little kiddos in the back so you don't have to strain your voice and yeah overall solid system and again you can control it with a dial if you don't want to use the touchscreen so functionality on it Fantastic. Now look at the material use here on the dash and how it is all covered. And you guys can see here with the stitching just looks fantastic. And then notice again with the metallic trim here for the vents and how it all connects. That looks beautiful from a design perspective. Down below, I've got our climb controls here for the front. So you've got dual zone here for the front, heated, cooled seats, heated steering wheel. Again, all the normal luxury stuff, right? 
And notice here with the wood panel, we've got a wireless phone charger, some USBs, and if we press it, then it'll slowly go back. And then notice that wood trim continues here around this section. So this is like the analog control for the infotainment system with your volume controls just up above. And then notice here with the shifter for the eight speed automatic. And then yeah, just from a material standpoint, looks fantastic and actuation on it's great. And we have more beautiful wood trim that covers the cup holder section here. We have our drive mode select here with our center locker, hill descent control, parking sensors, and then this is for the camera system. A lot of you might be wondering on the center locker, that's just going to make it so that the power distribution is uh, equal front to rear. So if you're in like a tricky situation, it'll help with getting out. And then notice here with the quilted design for your like knee rest. So if you're like a larger person and you rest your knee against the center area, then well, they've got padding for you and there's some more storage space underneath as well. And then with the center console and see storage space there. And then notice how the stitching all connects. And look at the material used here with the handle for the glove box. And it is padded here on the outside, which is another nice touch. You notice how that like flows into it with like all of the trim. So popping up top, you can see here with the visors and just look at the material used here for the headliner. And we have like a double sunroof situation. Very unique, that's for sure. Uh, but you have the control for the sunroof just right here in the center. And yeah, again, I think they just nailed it with the material use and the design here for the top. So there's quite a bit of glare, but you guys can see 2023 GV80 Prestige, right? And this one does have a few options added to it. It has the advanced package, prestige package, and it has the cargo package as well. Total MSRP, $77,050. Let's take it out for a short little drive. Let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's your visibility of the hood. You guys can also see the heads up display now. Both the mirrors, which do have blind spot monitoring, like I said earlier, and then throughout the rest of the rear. And let's set off. So, setting off here in the GV80. Now, I've actually driven quite a few of these, so this isn't going to be a super long, intensive, extensive test drive because, well, I can already tell you guys about how the vehicle drives from prior knowledge. So first off, seat comfort is just absolutely amazing. And speaking of seats, since I popped in again, we're gonna we're gonna turn back on that massage. Hey, I gotta I gotta you know take advantage of all the perks of the uh, car review job, right? So we're gonna get a massage for the rest of the review. So yeah, seat comfort's amazing. Um, the bolsters are you know wide enough that if you're a larger person, you'll actually be able to fit in these seats very comfortably. Um, but they're not so wide that you're just gonna like slide all over the place. So it's definitely a great uh, balance overall. And you guys can see here, we've got the turn signal camera as well. That's another thing I wanted to show you guys while we're on our little drive. So again, that's kind of like a nice safety feature and yeah, just definitely a cool feature overall. Setting up, or setting off rather, <laughs> setting up. Man, I gotta leave that in because that's funny. Um, You'll notice with the torque, it is just phenomenal here with this 3.5, it just moves. And we'll be able to see kind of a little bit of the maneuverability here around this roundabout. So you guys can see there with the steering. I know I'm going all the way around the roundabout, but that was just to show you guys a little bit with the steering. And so that's super great. Uh, it's light, it's pretty direct though. And actually if we put it over into the sport mode, it makes things a little bit more aggressive um, steering actually feels a little bit tighter suspension too but the suspension is very comfortable so that's the cool thing about this suspension system here in the gv80 is it's just really compliant but it minimizes body roll it has so much torque so <laughs> much torque it's such a it's such a fun experience from an acceleration perspective uh, with this that is for sure and then other things it's a very windy day today. You probably noticed that, you know, probably a little bit of wind noise through the uh, microphone. Sorry about that. Uh, but the cabin is so well insulated. Not a lot uh, pops through here with the cabin, which I think is another really big positive here with the GV80. So torquey. Continuing along here with the GV80, something else I want to mention is the transmission. It's very quick to shift, very responsive, and uh, so 
you know, between this having quite a bit of power and having a really responsive transmission, it just has a really sporty driving experience overall. I mean, look at this. It just moves and it's smooth though. It's very like smooth, effortless speed. So I think that they did a really good job with the overall tuning on all of that. Now we're gonna pop back into the comfort mode. I imagine most people purchasing this are probably gonna just drive in comfort most of the time, getting massaged, just doing your daily commute. And so yeah, let's sum things up. So first off, I think it goes without saying, but we'll say it. The exterior looks phenomenal. And then from an interior perspective, it is full on luxury car. There's just so many nice amenities here with the GV80 and just such a comfortable vehicle. It's a great daily driver. And so you're just getting so much value for the money. Uh, to get this same level of like luxury in other manufacturers, you're gonna have to spend well over six figures. And so if you want this amazing luxury experience and you don't want to break the bank, you got to check out the new GV80 because it's awesome. That's going to sum things up for our video on this 2023 Genesis GV80. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Genesis of Linden for giving me some time with this GV80. Check out the inventory in the description down below. I will see all of you in that next video.